Hey guys, Carl's Review here and welcome back to another review. Now in today's review we are reviewing Chick Hicks with headset here. Um, now I am going to review them separately, um, not with Natalie Certain. I know I did the free pack with uh, Chester with preferred Luigi and Guido, but I am going to do the double packs where it's just two as a single, but I thought it would just be easier to do them three together as I feel that Guido is kind of like included with uh, Chester with Phil because he has that rag. So um, they're sort of linked. I know Chick and Natalie are linked, but not in the sense of a die car. So I'm just going to do them separately. Um, and I think Natalie sent quite a boring car anyway. So I thought I'd just do Chick this time. I will be reviewing Natalie, certainly. Uh, don't you worry. Um, we are actually currently on 84 subscribers now. So that's pretty cool. Thank you very much for that. And uh, we've been getting quite a bit of support on the videos. So thank you guys a lot for that. Um, so, right, on to Chick. Now, he is an RSN reporter, which is Racing Sport Network. So, we know that Chick is no longer racing. He's retired, and he is one of the uh, Racing Sport Network uh, people. So, he's like a, maybe a commentator. He'll interview the racers, stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure he still like doesn't like McQueen, which is what I think anyway. It seems that way. I think he's on Jackson Storm's side, that's for sure. Um, so he still is a bad guy, but nowhere near as bad as Storm. Um, but he is obviously still a bad guy to McQueen because he still dislikes him. Don't know why, but there you go. <laughs> Chick just has never liked McQueen. Um, but yeah, he, he'll, his appearance will be probably at the races. Maybe we'll see him on TV. You don't know um, until you see it, I guess. But that's uh, that's where I think he was going to be anyway. All right, um, so... They might be reviewing, um, they might be producing one, I didn't mean to say reviewing there, they might be producing one without a headset, we don't know yet. The only really version of this we've got is the Mini Racer one, like I looked on that and it's obviously the same but without a headset, so who knows if they're doing without the headset. I think, I think Collection TV has um, actually made a custom of um, Chick without the headset which looks really cool. Um, but I'm sure they'll be releasing him without him because uh, in, in the, some of the trailers we've seen him without it So they probably will know him Mattel, but he does look very cool with his headset on It's nice to have Chick back and also we know we're gonna get a double pack that features the King in as well along with um, Jeff uh, Corvette and he said Jeff Gorn, but that's the person who voices him and I think it's just the same without World Grand Prix stuff So that'd be a cool um, double pack to get uh, But that's coming out in the near future I'd imagine Alright, so let's start with actually reviewing Chick now. So, first off here, we have these big moustache, obviously, which Chick has. Uh, he's got sort of, he doesn't have his flat mouth anymore, obviously, because I think they tried to design him as, obviously, like the die cast, because he was a racer. If kids were playing at him as a racer, they didn't want to have sort of that. It kind of may, may get stuck on the carpet kind of thing. But this time he's not a racer, so they wouldn't really... Um, be you playing, pushing him around really fast kind of thing. Uh, I have actually noticed he has these two lines here. I don't know what they are. I'm pretty sure they weren't on the old chick. I'm not too sure. Uh, we have his RSM badge here. It might even focus for once. There we go. You can just about see there. It does say Racing Sport Network. Uh, his mouth, it doesn't... It, the, um, the old one, all, it, this was all white before, but now it's only a little bit of white, so it looks like it's just sort of grinning a bit. Like an angryish grin, um, which is pretty cool, but it's kind of cool that they didn't um, feel the whole thing in again because that I don't know, I don't know how I feel about his expression, it's okay, I guess. Now, a big difference, obviously, is we have Chick Hicks on here as well, 86 because he's now retired. But one thing that's really cool and nostalgic, he still has all the old logos, so you still get to see all the old ones. Obviously, Mood doesn't look like that anymore, RPM doesn't. Fiber, well, not fiber fuel, well, he is there, but um, fire wheel drive doesn't look like that, so it's really cool to see the older ones again. Now, on the side here, we have former and forever Piston Cup champion, which we all know that he cheated for that, and he did crush the king out, and he only won one Piston Cup, so he's sort of milking that a bit. Uh, on his wheels here, we have the same colour yellow, but now it says Chick Hicks on his wheel instead of Piston Cup, because obviously he doesn't race for the Piston Cup anymore. So he just has Chick Hicks because we all know how much Chick loved himself. Now one thing with this die cast is where it has the bolt there. It's sort of like Kachika sort of thing. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. But he has a sort of Thunderbolt. 
kind of thing, which was never released on an, a chick diecast in from the first one. I don't think anyway. Maybe a lenticular version, but I don't know. I certainly never got one. Uh, his expression is actually different to the other one. It's more of a relaxed, angry one rather than a determined, angry one. Which obviously, because when he was a race, you'd be quite determined. But it's sort of more relaxed. But you can still tell he's angry. Uh, over here we have the RSN thing with this little little pink thing there. I have no idea what that is. Uh, with his headset coming all the way down, which is really cool. Uh, again, we have the 86 with all the sponsors on him. Uh, we have the bit of the headset going across here with the 86, his window. Uh, now on the back, this is also different. So I've seen Hostile Takeover, but it says RSN Racing Sport Network. But we still have all the sponsors pretty much on here. And we also have Chick Hicks' Heroes on the spoiler as well. Uh, well, on the back a bit of him, which is also really cool. We also have, I forgot to say on that side, RSN badges here as well. And I don't think, I'm not actually even sure what that sign is underneath him. I don't actually know, but it, no way will it focus that close. But I don't really know what that is. I don't think it's a racer and that sign as well. I think they maybe just be company signs uh, rather than racing signs. We have things that are like that again, where we don't really know in that buttons that uh, not button stickers there but majority of them are races uh, here with the antenna I guess maybe people are going to be talking in, in his headphones and then he talks in that so I guess he's going to be people are going to be communicating with him which definitely means it's probably going to be an interviewer because um, people can talk back to him but yet yeah, again with the RSN thing here with the, I've also noticed he's got sort of chrome bits here so all the bits they're quite cool uh, again we have the same on the side as we do on the other side. Uh, we have his 86 there as well, I forgot to mention that. And the base is, I actually think they've changed the base for Chick. It's also, I think it's sort of saying, but they obviously have to put more coding on now. So we've got the two main China sort of bits there, in Mattel. And then we have the coding back there, all the engine parts. So it's okay for Chick, I just hate these big pop, uh, big bars there. That's really, I don't know why they have to include things like that, to be honest. I find it quite annoying why they have to do that, but for some reason they do. Um, one thing I dislike about this chick is it's so much lighter than the old one for some reason. It's like you can literally, I, I don't know if it's because he doesn't have any, well I suppose in the first one he didn't have any plastic windows, so I don't have a clue why it is really light unless they use flimsy or pl um, metal or something when they made him and that, but he was really light. You can like pick him up and it's a lot lighter than any other car. I think cars like Guido are probably in Luigi. No, well, that's not true. They're not heavy in him, but I guarantee things like Vladimir Trunkov are actually like the same weight as this chick. <laughs> I don't know why he's really light, but he just is for some reason. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see Chick back again. I, I can't wait to see King's part in the film as well, and obviously Doc, so that's going to be really cool. So it is cool to see an old character back. Obviously, he was the bad guy, but I, I, I think Chick was okay. He's. Mm, He's alright as a character, I guess. He was quite, you know, he good. He was a good villain kind of thing. He was like entertaining villain, but I still don't really like Chick. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this review on Chick Hicks with a headset. Um, and there will be another review hopefully up tomorrow. I know I didn't miss a day, but um, with school and everything, I can't really have loads of time to make videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully there will be a video out tomorrow for you guys. Um, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a review. And I'll see you in the next review, guys.